Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm going to be talking about 10 indie brands that I recommend you try in 2021. Obviously, make up your own minds, but I recommend these 10. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Artitude Cosmetics. Um, an amazing discovery this year. I have the Colour Splash palette, I have the VIP Exclusive palette. Both palettes are beautiful, perform amazingly well. It's run by a very lovely lady called Rux. Um, she does some amazing products. I have the Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one, which I love. It's black and I do believe she's looking at bringing out some different colours um, of the Catitude Liner. So keep your eyes on that. I love the lashes from Artitude Cosmetics. I have a few pairs and I know that she is bringing out new styles very soon. So another thing to keep your eyes peeled for. It is a brand that I I truly recommend. Um, I'm so happy to recommend Artitude Cosmetics. I do also have a few of the K-Kit liners. They're the water activated liners. I have a few shades and again, beautiful products. I can highly recommend them. So yes, brand number one that I don't think you should be sleeping on this year is Artitude Cosmetics. Now, moving on to brand number two, um, they're in no order. I've just compiled a list of 10 brands. So brand number two is Lois Cosmetics, another UK indie brand run by a very lovely lady called Lois. Um, you will have heard me raving a lot recently about the Gone Rogue palette. It was one of my favourite finds of 2020. It is such an amazing palette. She also does liquid eyeshadows. I have the green one, shade Kingdom. I love it. It is great for um, just a wash of colour if you want. Um, you can use it to line the top of your cut crease. Um, I did use it on top of the black liquid eyeliner and it looked so beautiful. And I do hear that they are a dupe of the Stila liquid eyeshadows. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, I also have the pen eyeliner in black, fine style eyeliner. I have that and I really enjoy that too. Her products are, they're beautiful. And I cannot wait to see what Lois comes out with this year. So uh, yeah, that brings us to brand number three and that is Makeup by Lisa. Now, Makeup by Lisa is based on the Isle of Wight, which is very special for me because that is where I am from. So that aside, I have tried quite a few products from Makeup by Lisa and completely fallen in love with them. She has a really lovely shimmer formula. The shimmer eyeshadows are beautiful. I love the lashes. I'm actually wearing the Raven lashes today. I love these. Um, her liquid lipsticks are amazing. They last all day on the lips and they're comfortable. They were one of my favorite finds of 2020. I have two shades. I love them. The red is a beautiful red. Also the Zany's holographic pigment is just beautiful. I love it. It's so, so good. Um, it just really adds an oomph to a makeup look and I love it. I also have two of the highlighters from Makeup by Lisa. I have Pearl and I have Pink Sunshine, I believe it's called. Um, Pearl is a firm favourite. I absolutely love it. It's a really gorgeous, kind of it has a, a blue-violet shift in it. It's just stunning, like a champagne with a blue-violet shift. Yeah, I highly recommend it. The formula for her highlighters is amazing. Another brand that I am excited to see more from. So moving on, I have popped We Makeup. Now We Makeup is a brand based in Italy, I believe. I created my own color story using the Build Your Own palette. So you can just drag and drop the colors in there, move them around. And I was really happy with my color story. 
and the formula I found was really lovely. I really enjoyed working with the eyeshadows. I also have one of the liquid lipsticks, um, the Ever liquid lipsticks, and I found the formula to be really comfortable, really long lasting. So yeah, another brand that I am so happy to recommend to you guys. And the next brand I have on my list, um, number five, I don't know why I numbered them because they're in no order, but just so you know where we're at. Number five, <laughs> we have With Love Cosmetics. Now, I have fallen head over heels in love with the press glitters. They are amazing. They look so beautiful in the eyes. You do not need glitter glue. You don't need to spray your brush, anything like that. It has the binder in, in the pan. And, oh, I am in love with those glitters. If you are a glitter fan, you really need to try with Love Cosmetics. They are so beautiful. And oh, the shade Emerald is my favorite so far. It is such a beautiful, like green gold shift. It's stunning. I can't describe how beautiful it looks on the eyes. I haven't tried anything else from the brand apart from the pressed glitters, but for those, I highly recommend with Love Cosmetics. So for all you glitter lovers out there, if you can get hold of them, they're so worth it. And then moving on to number six, and that is Made by Mitchell. Again, I've only tried one product from Made by Mitchell and that is the Feet on the Ground palette, but oh my God, am I in love with it. It is such a beautiful, amazingly well thought out color story. Obviously there's a lot of greens, which is my thing if you know me <laughs> but the formula was just amazing i love the matte formula the shimmer formula i love the packaging and i really really want to try more from made by mitchell i have my eye on the head in the clouds palette um but also the blushes or blushes is that cream blushes um there's an orangey one and i really want to try that so I think that's on my wish list. So fingers crossed, I will get round to trying that this year. Please excuse the weird whimpery noises. My dog is dreaming. She is, <laughs> she's laid under the covers, dreaming. So if you can hear that, I do apologize. Um, I haven't got anyone locked up under my bed or anything ridiculous like that. It's just Poppy, Poppy dreaming. So where was I? So yeah, made by Mitchell. That is definitely a brand I want to try more from this coming year. So number seven is La Belle, another UK indie brand. I have the Magnifique palette and two liquid lipsticks. Um, I do have to say the liquid lipstick formula is not my favorite. I didn't find, I found that it kind of broke up on my lips. So unfortunately, not a lover of the liquid lipstick formula from La Belle. However, the Magnifique eyeshadow palette is beautiful. The formula of the eyeshadows is beautiful. I love the looks I've created with it so far. And I'm, I'm really excited to try more. I know they do highlighters and a few other bits. So I'm definitely intrigued and wanting to try more from La Belle. So brand number eight is Miali Beauty. The owner of Miali Beauty is the same person who owned Blush Tribe, if you remember that brand. I have the Iubia palette, which made it into my top 10 of 2020, and I love it. The, the formula is beautiful. I'd heard so many people raving about Blush Tribe. Um, unfortunately, I was so late to the party, I missed it. But I have tried Miali Beauty's formula, and I'm in love. I have the Yasmin palette on its way to me, along with the eye brush set so you'll be seeing a video coming up pretty soon hopefully and um, I believe they're due to arrive this week so fingers crossed you'll be seeing that very very soon and uh, yeah so Miali Beauty is another brand I am more than happy to recommend I will pop links to all of the brands in the description box below um, for you to go and check out so the ninth brand I have on my list is Pout and Shout. 
uh, run by the very, very beautiful and lovely Maria. She is based in the UK. The blushes are absolutely amazing. They are my all-time favourite blushes. They're, she hand paints the packaging. Let me grab one just to show you. Um, this one, Juicy Lucy, it's hand painted, recycled, upcycled packaging, and the formula of the blushes oh, is just beautiful. Love it. Um, the highlighters are also amazing. I have two of the highlighters, um, they are the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters and I have Lucky Dice and Lucky Black Cat and I can highly recommend both the blushes and the highlighters from Pouts and Shout, especially the blushes. Really don't sleep on those blushes. If you are a blusher fan, head on over. I will link her details in the description box below. Um, the majority of these brands have websites However, Pout and Shell is so new that it is only on Instagram at the moment. She is so lovely. If you want to reach out and chat to her, she is more than happy to, to chat about things with you. She's just lovely. She's so sweet. So yes, that was brand number nine. Brand number 10. I've miscounted. I have 11. <laughs> um... Yeah, so 10 brands plus one that I recommend you try in 2021. Right, okay. My brain is mushed by all the painkillers and I have them here in front of me, numbered out, and it goes to number 11. So moving on to brand number 10, I have September Rose and is another amazing UK indie brand. I have the Slush Palette and I have the Brew Palette. The Slush Palette is a beautiful rainbow palette. I really enjoyed playing with it. It's it's just beautiful. I'd heard so many people rave about it. I'd seen so many people use it. And I was so excited to get it for myself. And I did pick up the Brew Palette, which may surprise a lot of people because I'm not generally a neutral lover. I'm, I love colour. I absolutely love colour. I find brown pretty boring. However, the shades in the palette have some beautiful tones. I, it's definitely a more kind of grungy neutral. I'm having a hard time describing it, so I'm just going to show you. So the Brew palette looks like this. The tones in these are beautiful. They're just slightly off. So, yeah. There are only two shimmers in here. They are beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's uh, definitely one that I recommend. Um, for me, it's not just your your average neutral palette. It's got it's a neutral palette with a twist. And I'm so happy I have it. I love it. So yes, September Rose do also have other products. I have not tried anything else other than those two palettes as yet. However, I fully intend to. It's definitely a brand that I have my eye on and I'm intrigued to try more from. So, finally, <laughs> my 10 brands that became 11. Well, there always was 11. Um, but yeah, anyways, brand number 11, or 10, 10 plus one, <laughs> is Nabla. Now, I believe Nabla is an Italian indie brand I absolutely love the face powder. It's the close-up baking and setting powder. It's so finely milled. It is beautiful on the skin. I cannot praise it enough. It is my number one favorite powder that I have tried ever so far. So it's, it's really won a place in my heart. So yeah, that setting powder is one that I will definitely be repurchasing when I run out of it. I do have two eyeshadow palettes from Nabla. One I have tried and one is still in my box of makeup I have but I haven't tried yet. So the one I've tried is the Wild Berry, the Cutie Palette and I love it. It's a really beautiful, small, curated 
Berries palette is lovely. The shades in there are beautiful. There is one shade that's best used as a topper. The topper shade in there, Alchemy 2.0, is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's a, if you like smaller curated palettes, if you like berry tones, you're going to love it. The formula is beautiful. The other palette I have is Soul Blooming. Um, but obviously I haven't tried it yet, so that will be coming up in a video moving forwards. I've heard some really, really good things about the makeup brushes from Nabla, so they are definitely on my list of products to try. Um, fingers crossed in 2021. <laughs> so we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but all of those uh, 10 plus 1 brands... I would be happy to recommend um, based on the products that I have tried from them. So yeah, that's that's going to be it um, because I think I have rambled enough and my 10 turned out to be 11, but I hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, it's my channel. I'm going to do what I want. And I had 11. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, it really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around, hitting that subscribe button. If you like colourful makeup and indie brands, then I think you'll love my channel. <laughs> so please do hit that subscribe button if that sounds like something that you would enjoy. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So again, thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.